is way down in the roots and is destroying the whole system. And therefore, we want to call on our government, the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to bring back our girls now and alive. We wonder what is going on because these Boko Haram people, we do not want to acknowledge them as Muslims because we know that Islam is a, is a religion of peace. We know that Islam does not say that you should abduct young children. We know that Islam does not say you should rape young children. We know that Islam does not say that you should put tears on the eyes of their parents day in and day out. We are happy that some of them have been clever enough to escape. But not all of them have that, the guts to escape. They are children. They need to be with their parents. We want to appeal to the federal government of Nigeria that we understand that the, the, the police are saying that their weapons are not as sophisticated as those as Boko Haram. And we wonder where the security resources is going to. We want them to be able to use the direct resources of defense for defense purposes only. We do not want it to be diverted to other places. We worry because these children, if we cannot have hope for our children, then we, the, there is a lost country. We want the federal government to exchange these children for the criminals that are in detention because we believe that some of these um, 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 Boko Haram people are kept in um, areas where the resources of the government is being wasted. Maybe they are in air-conditioned rooms on nice beds which they do not deserve. And we understand that criminals will always go back to their vomit. If they release them, they will commit another crime and they will be captured again. We want those children to be exchanged. We want to commend Malala for coming to talk to the president. But I worry as an individual. I worry because I know the president has special advisors. He has ministers that should advise him on things to do. And I worry why a 17-year-old child will come and give that advice to the president. I want us as a government to step up our game and, and, and be responsible for our children because the children are the future. We want to pray for these children, that God should keep them safe, that God should, should send his angels to guide them. Amen. And Father Lord, as the gates were broken and the bars were torn asunder in those days, let the gates of this Boko Haram be broken and be torn asunder in Jesus' name.